My brothers and sisters, there are certain basic choices that everyone makes that are so fundamental that they affect everything that we experience in life. They're like the choice to take one road or the other. There are uphill roads, there are downhill roads, there are smooth roads, there are rough roads. There are roads that lead us to people, there are roads that lead us to isolation. There are roads that lead to some place, and there are roads that lead to nowhere. Once we've chosen a road, we have no more choice about what we are going to see or experience. We have to make the best of it, or we have to change roads. Our first reading today, and indeed today's gospel, are in a sense about choosing roads. What or who are we to trust in? How should our lives be oriented if we are going to be truly responsive to the Lord? Our passage from the book of the prophet Jeremiah is very simply structured, offering Two roads, as it were, a blessing and a curse. If you trust in human beings, if you concentrate exclusively upon the here and now, you are headed for self-destruction. You are like a bush in the desert that never grows, that never bears fruit, but just stands there in the parched earth. On the other hand, there is the person who trusts in the Lord. What do we hear of this one? This person is like a tree planted near running water, whose roots go deep into the earth and is able to withstand difficult circumstances and still bear fruit. The prophet's message pertains to us. We need God. If we try to go through life on our own, we're going to end up disappointed. Why? Because we are simply not equipped to bring about success for ourselves. We will end up headed for destruction, not by the will of an angry God, but by our own unwillingness to acknowledge our dependence and our need for God. If we affirm our need for God, we will end up fruitful, filled with life, and be able to withstand any adversity that comes our way. Here then is the secret to Christian life, the paradox that we find over and over again in the Gospels. And it is this, that the less we depend upon ourselves and the more that we depend upon God, the better our chances of making something worthwhile out of ourselves. We need to hear this because you and I are immersed over our heads in a culture that prizes individual achievement and honors the self-made man or woman. Let us now look at Jesus' teaching in the gospel. Jesus calls blessed those who are unable to make it on their own, those who have only God to rely upon, the poor, the hungry, the sorrowing, the despised, the excluded. These will flourish like Jeremiah's tree planted near running waters. On the other hand, what else does Jesus say? 
Those who have plenty of money, those who don't worry about the next meal, those who are free of sorrow, those who are highly regarded, will be deprived of it all. And will be like that dried up bush that Jeremiah spoke about in the desert. This is a paradox. It goes against our usual way of thinking. It is a hard message for me to hear, and I suspect for you as well. Today's Old Testament reading, today's New Testament reading from the Gospel, remind us that God's message to his chosen people has always been consistent. Consistent over the whole course of salvation history as revealed in the inspired word. The basics of a successful, blessed life as set out by the prophet Jeremiah are in parallel with the basics for a successful, blessed life that are taught by Jesus. No human being is self-validating, and it is dangerous to try to be successful on our own. Both Jesus and Jeremiah teach that our final worth depends upon the acknowledgement of need, our need, and upon the willingness that we have to be dependent upon God. Two questions we might ask ourselves for reflection during this Sabbath day. To what extent is self-sufficiency a value in my life? And secondly, how do I express my dependence upon God? My brothers and sisters, the wisdom of God is unchanging, so let us choose the right road. Let us choose God's way.